Hello. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. We are back at the Goodwill Bins on Half Price Day. We actually haven't been thrifting at all in like two weeks. That's not true. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. You we literally just said this morning that you said this morning that we need to go thrifting because we haven't been in so long that you don't feel like a reseller yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's true. So we've come back to the Goodwill Bins. It's Wednesday, so that means it's Half Price Day, which means it's going to be super busy, but also super cheap. So we'll see if we can find the balance between those two. <laughs> List perfectly. Why can't everybody just chill out? Oh, it's just junk. I got the flea market this morning. I bought uh, two PS4s from a guy for ten dollars a piece. Wow! I can't believe that. I was like, we didn't. I said, like, did you say ten dollars? He's like, yeah. I said, I'll take both. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know I'm over the half price statement. This is just this is too it's crazy. Too many people. Yeah. Too many people. You got people digging in bins head first. You got people cussing everybody out. Yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah, this... yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Can you be quiet, please? <laughs> we're, we're too loud. I'm so sorry. Her baby's sleeping. Oh, okay. It's very loud today. Extra loud today. It is very loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let me get out of here so I don't wake up the baby. We just got this. I, I'm pretty sure this is Plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I don't see a date on it, but that is awesome. Haley, this is crazy. I'm finding a bunch of Turbis tumblers. Turbis tumblers? Like, look at oh, all wow. of them. Oh, wow. Wow, look at all those Turbis tumblers. Oh, I'm finding the lids, too, like random lids. I can't seem to find all of them. Oh, this looks like that bowl that, I think this is one of those mixers that Tim buys. Bosch. I don't know if we got the whole thing, but we got the, the bowl. Shout out Tim. I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it, but we got the Bosch whiskers, the dough arm, the bucket, and ow. It's okay. Love you so much. In the base. The base is kind of heavy, but half price. Another one. Pink golf cart. Put it in. Oh look, another basketball hoop. Now we can have three. Okay, I'm I'm a little emotionally and physically overwhelmed. Um, so if you are ready to head out, I'm also ready to head out. I'm not ready. Not ready. Oh, okay, man. great. Threw an UGG boot over here a minute ago. I believe this is a match to that. These look okay. A little bit of washing. I'll take a chance on this. Are you ready to go through your stuff yet? Because I'm sure. continually overwhelmed. I'm Josh <laughs> You're just, you just You're have, the one that usually is all I know, I know usually. This is just, there's too many people in here. Dance go flip flops? Dance go flip flops. 
Those are cool, good brands, good style of shoe, okay. good condition. Here are my vintage Cabbage Patch kids that I don't know anything I about. I also know nothing about They got some Audi belly buttons, so dang. Yeah. Um, what do you say, that was from like 1978 or something? I don't know, they have a tag that says, oh, on his butt. they're a little dirty. 1978, 1982. I mean, you could take a chance on. I've never looked up comps or selfie rates on Cabbage Patch. Kids. I will look them up in a second. I'm okay. Put them in your bag. Temporarily put them um, in my bag. This is a Pioneer Woman lunchbox. Very cute. Insulated. Uh oh, there we go. Insulated. Insulated for all your cold and or hot goods. Um, I found Simon, but I never found the or or. Uh, Alvin. Alvin. That's so. fine. Um, and I just have a bunch of random stuff, so I okay. have. Like I found like three or four of just white Okay, love those. Things. Personal use. I've got one already, but it's white. I found a Mike's Hard Lemonade one. You like Mike's Hard Lemonade? Um, I found uh, this CD player. Memorex. Thing. Let's check the battery compartment. Ooh, the batteries are corroded. Oh, See all okay. that junk in there? I found two Chuck E. Cheese lunch boxes. Um, I don't know if those are worth anything. Probably it's not. They're dented. rusted and I don't think these are... I can't even get this one open. Yeah. I'll probably pass on these. I found this. 2006, so they're not even vintage. Unfortunately. I found this fossil bag. Oh, that's cool. Cute little Fossil's leather like, purse. It's not a great brand, but that's like still leather. I was so excited when I found this, but there's no game in it. No game. Splatoon 2. Fun game. Throw it in there. Somebody might want it. Okay. Um, and then my all of my services. I've got a ton of them. So okay, we have so how Wonder many? Woman. We have whatever that is. Yeah. We have Piggly Wiggly. Piggly, two Piggly Wigglies. Two Piggly Wigglies. We have this fun looking one. Laurel. We have um, Cur Curiouser and Curiouser. I think it's out. Does it look like Alice in Wonderland to you? Probably. Does it say Disney Alice on the bottom? Alice in Wonderland. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's Alice in Wonderland. Minions. Minions, that's cute. Um, Banana. Uh, just a <laughs> striped one. And then the one you found with the pink Jeep. That's a golf cart. And then butterflies. Yeah. And my two favorite, Harry Potters. District Manage, and that one's super cool. Super, super cool. Yeah. And Linus. Is that <laughs> um, Linus? I don't know. One of those. Uh, and then What's in this? this about, I used to have this exact one and then my mom stole it from me and she oh. used it. Shout out Steph Meister. I found this That's little Kula so Hello Kitty. That's cute. For our plush auction coming up. This really gross Adidas hat. Okay. Is that I don't think that's worth playing it. That's probably like a ten dollar hat. Okay. So I don't think it'd be worth our time. I don't know what that is. I think it's just like a, a toy tape recorder. And then I found these oh, two, one. these two troll dolls. Okay, we can get those. And then all the lids. All the lids. I took, <laughs> took so much time trying to find all these lids. So hopefully. It's a little wind chime. Was it, isn't that so cute? That is cute. It's a little windmill wind chime. Yeah. We'll get that. All right. That was really good. What's up with the suitcases? Why? Why are they so? Do you sell these? We ship them to Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. Okay. I just see people get them all the time. I'm like, what am I missing here? When I'm here, everybody keep getting it. Yeah. If you don't get it, I get it. You know how it is. Know how it is. Good. How are you? Uh. I think it's. I think everything's regular. We got a couple flush, but not worried about that. Thirty four. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, join the rest of the You too. Stay safe. It's crazy out here. Oh, hey. Free socket. Socket. Cobalt. Came out my bag. Oh, it did? Oh, there you go. So I, don't, I don't need it. I was just gonna. Oh, yeah. yeah man. <laughs> Somebody will need it. Oh, yeah. Thought we had a free socket, but it wasn't. Oh, well. Oh, well. Are we gonna put our stuff up and then go over here or go over here? Yes. Yeah. It's too heavy. 30 bucks on half off. Oh, there's, there's yeah. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah. That was really good. Historically, Haley hasn't really liked half off day because it's it's crazy in there. A lot of people and she hasn't really found much 
very often, but this was definitely one of the best days. I'm so excited about all these tumblers. Yeah. Turbis Tumbler, just in case you don't know that brand, it's not like worth a ton of money, but it's just like a really well-made cup. Uh, and I think they have lifetime guarantees for like manufacturer defects. Um, so they're just really popular. And they're like double walled plastic. So they insulate like hot or cold beverages. Um, so will probably get for used ones, depending on the theme, like maybe those Harry Potter ones are might worth like 18, 20 bucks or so. And then the other ones maybe like eight to 10, eight to 12. So we're in that range. So not a ton of money, but we can get like 20 of them for $30 with all this other stuff. It becomes really profitable really quickly. There are people like waiting on parking spots. There's a guy waiting on our parking spot back there. But I like told him that, you know, hey, sorry, we're not leaving. But there's literally no spots available. No, it's an entire it's parking so lot. Packed. And this is a huge parking lot too. I'm going in the regular side. Let's see what they got. On and then, oh, look at this cool basket. Worthless. $3. Is that worth $3? No. Nope. <laughs> That's what we do. We just come in thrift stores and try to find stuff that we can buy and then flip for a profit. You mean over there? Yeah, over there. It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. What channel? This channel's called Harry Tornado. Harry like beard. Harry Tornado. Tornado. <laughs> Check it out. I didn't have the camera on, but she had asked, like, is that a camera on your chest? And I always get nervous when people ask that because I never know where the conversation's going to go. But I just turned it on and showed her what we do. What's this? Been looking around for a few minutes found a couple things here we got this uh adidas like boston i think it's boston celtics little beanie that should be a dollar 50 cents or a dollar something like that and i also got this other beanie that is timberland so those would be pretty good i got this spirit uh spirit stallion horse thing the movie spirit it's two dollars and 94 cents it's got the spirit tag on there still thinking about that i might get that might put it back i don't know yet these are athletics i feel like they might be a little stretched out Athleta. Cool. Athleta cheetah print. Haley also found this, I think it's Spider-Man, some fancy form of Spider-Man hoodie. It's on a Marvel tag, uh, size medium. So that should be something that we could probably move in our next whatnot auction. Uh, and then what was this? A shawl? Um, it is a, the brand is Look, but it's like a, um, what Blue is it tags? called? What's it called? A shawl, shawl vest. Shawl vest. The pre-owned ones are selling for like 20 to 25 plus shipping and I could probably I think there was a sold comp for 30 30 or 35 plus shipping on that okay sounds good I was heading up to the register to check out and I saw this this, this penguin guy penguin girl I don't know it looks like he's got a little bikini on bikini and swim trunks should be 50 cents for this gotta get him her it so we spent just about $17 on all that stuff at the last Goodwill. I didn't film the checkout process, but not too bad for all the stuff we got. When I was talking to the cashier, it was a guy who I've, I've met dozens of times, told about the YouTube channel. And we were talking about, I was like, have you ever seen one of our videos? And he was like, no, I think you might've recorded me a couple times and I don't like the way my voice sounds. But he continued on by saying that his dream job is to be a, a, be a voice actor. Cause I think he has a really good speaking yeah, voice. He does. And he's like, I don't know, I just don't like, that would be cool. But I don't know how to get there. I don't know how to reach that that career goal. And I was like, dude, just start a Fiverr profile. Like Fiverr is like a freelance website, not sponsored, but just hear me out here. Fiverr is a freelance website where you can go and, and sign up, create a profile to offer freelance services. So uh, he could easily go and offer like freelance voice acting services. And all you would need is like a decent condenser microphone. Those are like 100 bucks, 150 bucks or so. We actually got ours from Facebook Marketplace for $60. And just go into like a closet where there's like clothes and there's no echo or anything. And you could easily start just on Fiverr doing stuff for 20 30 bucks a, a pop and then as you grow and get better at it and you build up your portfolio you can start charging more and more and turn that side hustle into like a full-fledged career my friend Josh from the lot of Josh YouTube channel we actually used to have a live YouTube show back like two and a half years ago or so um, he makes reselling videos which are really good but he also has a Fiverr profile where he does like resume writing and, and something like that. And he's only been doing it for two months, I think. And he's already making a thousand dollars a month just from Fiverr. So if you have like a career goal in mind like that, something in the creative realm, something that you feel like you can offer people that people would want to pay for, uh, definitely think about starting a Fiverr profile because that's a great way to get your foot in the door of that industry. Also go check out a lot of Josh's YouTube channel. He makes really good reselling <laughs> YouTube videos. He hasn't made any in a while 
while, like a lot in a while, but uh, I really have always enjoyed his channel. So check him out. I'll have his channel linked in the description of this video. Now we're headed to his house. Yes. His house is a local thrift store. I think they're like a, a church, church based thrift store maybe, mm -hmm. but they usually have really good stuff. It's, his house. it's not, yeah, his house, his, his house. His house as in Jesus. Got all this, all these plush sitting out here. I don't know if they're for oh, sale look, or not. Oh, it's a big minion. Oh, wow. Some Beanie Babies, that's like $40,000. I don't know if these are for sale or not. I should probably ask them. We're actually gonna have a plush auction on Whatnot tonight, Thursday night, the night this video posts. Uh, we're gonna be auctioning off probably like 30 to 50 different plush items. So definitely tune into that if you're interested. And we also go live on Whatnot every single Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. So there'll also be a link in the description for that as well. Oh, Haley, look at this TV. It's like one of the a testing TV that's much smaller than our current one. I was actually looking for one of these. And it's got a DVD player to it. 30 bucks. What's up? Sorry, we don't allow people like you in here. Hey, Flippy <laughs> Flipperson. What's up? <laughs> What's up, man? I used to have oh. the big version of this, the um Hello Kitty Clock. The um C D player thing. That actually might be pretty good. It says two thousand. Flippy missed it. I might actually get this. We have a TV like in the warehouse that we use to test VCRs and stuff, but it has a, a built-in VCR and DVD player and it's huge. It's like 20 inches and probably like 35 pounds. This is much more doable. What is it? Disney camera. Oh, Winnie the Pooh camera. Look at that. With like a... Disney yeah. Pix Jr. 1.3 megapixel digital camera. That is crystal clear imagery right there. 1.3 megapixels. This is the same quality as the Disney camera. I know nothing about remotes, so that would be your. Do you see there? Let me see. I mean, there might be the remotes in in there for this TV. This TV is a Toshiba with the DVD player. So let's see if there's a Toshiba remote. Insignia. Here's a Toshiba remote. Do you, do you think this would work? It's got the. It's Toshiba branded. Toshiba, and it has the DVD functions. So I don't have any batteries. Do you guys happen to have any AAA batteries? AAA? Yeah, to test this remote. Uh, let me see. How many do you need? Uh, looks like two. About right. There you go. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Look at there. It works, Flippy. Channel turns. But I can't get the eject button to work. Maybe the DVD player doesn't work. Open close. Now let's push play. No, let's push. Let's push eject. So it kind of works. Let me get it. Didn't see anything inside here today, but this thrift store also has an outdoor section, which it reminds me of like a junkyard or something. Like they've got the walker and crutch section over there. They've got the outdoor toy section. And like all this stuff just, just oh look another basketball goal. This is the third one we found in like a week. That's crazy. But this stuff just comes and it just like stays outside. So like if it's like electronic at all, it just kind of gets ruined. We've got a whole thing of baseball bats, not really worth anything. But you never know what you're gonna find out here. Always like digging through the whole shed back here. This little table. I think a couple of these are bike racks. What is that? Is that a CPAP machine? No, that's a nebulizer. We got a, uh, oh, we got a little um, man manure. Manure, like a cycling thing. This might be pretty good. I can just take this to play it against sports later on. Sell it directly. A lot of this stuff doesn't have prices on here. Usually they just. You just bring stuff up to the register and the guy's like, all right, how about 10 bucks? You know, you can kind of actually negotiate a little bit, which is really nice. We've got the golf section. Look at this bag boy. Nothing, a little bit of water in there, but this is like a super nice golf travel case. Let's talk about the water here. So it's like a triple stack bag boy case. This would be kind of annoying to ship. I might can sell it locally, but I think I might just leave it here. Give somebody else a chance to come, come grab it. Oh, they actually do have sinks here. 
okay so in the in the warehouse in our new warehouse we have like a full bathroom out there but this weekend we're gonna tear out the shower and tear out the vanity the vanity is like an indoor vanity and the sink is very tiny and we're trying to use that area to clean shoes and stuff so I wanted to rip out that vanity and replace it with a bigger like industrial style sink kind of something like this this is like a I mean this is big I was hoping for like a single contain container thing but this also might be pretty good some golf clubs on here I don't see anything offhand it's a Sun Mountain bag Sun Mountain stand bag that's actually kind of clean let's make sure it works stands work zipper works I might grab that back over here we got a rock band drum set I think it's either PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 3 or Nintendo Wii huh pulled it out checked it out everything looks good but there are two issues that's gonna stop me from buying this today one is that we already have one for Nintendo Wii that's in our garage that I haven't listed on eBay yet because I'm just not super excited about it and I feel like if I buy this one it's just gonna, it's just gonna sit right next to that one and and be the same issue also I have a Nintendo Wii to test the other one but I do not currently have a PlayStation 3 to test this one so probably gonna leave this one behind for someone else to grab so I came back over here to get this thing to take inside because we're gonna get this and take it to play it in sports eventually and then I saw this thing back here I was like what what is this this tailgater by dish and I, I remember somebody on Instagram or something posting about this but this is a portable satellite dish that you would take to like a football game or something so you could put it up on your truck or car or whatever and then get the game via satellite and it's out here I don't know if it works or not we'll have to figure out a way to test it but I'm sure they'll just give it to, to us for a couple bucks because they probably don't even know what it is but check out comps on this thing there's one right there sold for 150 free shipping I don't know if you guys can see that or not there's too much sunlight but Different models sell for different amounts. There's another white one right there that sold for 150 plus shipping. Another one, 100 bucks plus 100 dollars in shipping. So we will def definitely take a chance on this. They'll probably give it to us for five bucks or so. So this and this killer finds. Found this little box down here that just says stamp on it, and it's a bunch of different like different kinds of stamp, stamp pads, stamp rolling wheels, um, some ink, ink pads, and things like that book so hopefully we can get this whole box for a decent price and then just list it all as a big lot of you know craft stamps or whatever there's a ton in there these are expensive if you buy them separately so we'll see what'd you find i found two more things i found oh, this support your friends that is super cool and i found this book rats it's on nickelodeon yeah that's cool we'll get it i also found this tube of sensodyne toothpaste and it's so old and it's new and I end up just like not opened at all. I can't, I can't grab that. People love. They don't make sense at all like they used to. We're almost ready to check out, but I just found this uh, sealed tangle tank from Remington. Looks looks fairly old. And I think there are five currently listed on eBay. This is 2004, it's almost vintage. Five listed and three sold. Not bad. I think the average selling price is like 25 bad. bucks plus shipping. 20 to 25 bucks plus shipping. So easy to list, easy to ship. We'll add it to our to our buggy somewhere. Perfect. All right. What you got on the the whole thing of stamp stuff? It's not like stamp crafting stuff. Uh, probably like ten. Ten bucks. Yeah. It's good. Do it. It's outside on the next to the warehouse up there. Thank you. That's super cool. Yeah, it is. I saw that. It's a bike trainer who's outside. I don't know. What? I hit your camera. Pretty good. Golf bag. 
It's outside. Uh, it'll be, it's going to be about 60 all together. 60 sounds good to me. Yeah. Man, yeah. Good day. Thanks. Thank I appreciate you. Yeah, I'll open open the door for you. You go first. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Let's try to sh shove all this stuff in here. Huh? Yeah, it should just be the satellite. We got everything else. Good thing we have a warehouse to put all this stuff in. Oh, I forgot about all that stuff. They didn't see that. I need to go pay them an extra couple bucks. Let me give you a couple extra bucks. There, we had two remotes in the. Oh, that was in the there. TV. We didn't. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. So yesterday's thrift haul was super fun. I was really happy about being able to pick up things that weren't kind of like our normal things, like shoes, golf clubs, and hats, kind of like what I talked about in the last video. Like that satellite dish was a really cool find, and I, I don't know. I was just really overall very happy with our first trip back to the thrift in the last couple of weeks. Today is obviously the next day, and I've got a. Uh, a little project going on over here. I, I remember I told you guys about the sink that we had in our bathroom. Well, we got Dean and Dunn Handyman What's over up? here. What's uh, up? And he and I are gonna, <laughs> Haley doesn't wanna take the sink out until we get the replacement sink, which makes sense. I didn't really think about that as a man. I just wanted to rip everything out and be done with it. But we are gonna take out this shower uh, and eventually I wanna put like a washer and dryer hookup over here. Cause I think this is like the perfect little nook for it. Um, but today we're just gonna knock this out. So we got a, we got the shower, I say we, Dean got the shower like unscrewed and everything's good to go, but now we gotta cut it because I think the guy like put the shower in here and then put the door frame in. And I was like, Dean, let me cut it. And I use Ryobi tools because I'm not a, a professional handyman like Dean over here. <laughs> so he told me to, to look out for the true DeWalt power. But we're gonna cut it right down the middle, you said? That's right, you go for it. All right, wait, is that? Oh, it's got a safety like a gun. That's right. <laughs> it's loud. I got nervous because I didn't check to see what was back here. I know there's some wires, but I didn't think. Yeah, you too. We pulled it out. Good enough. Should I keep going or should we cut out the bottom separately? You can go around the bottom or keep going right down the middle. How about that? Get that out of here, right? Yep. We'll just pile everything right here for now. That's good. What? Watch your leg. <laughs> I should have worn my home improvement shirt, Dean. Which one? The, you didn't see the one Haley got for me at the thrift store? No. Nah. I think it's actually over there somewhere. Yeah. The that's right. The, yeah, these, this is the uh, the pair of Carhartt overalls that I got at the Goodwill Benz like two months ago. Couldn't sell them. They fit me perfectly. Um, and the legs are a little long. They look great. Thanks, man. So the drain does come up a little bit, but looks like it's just PVC pipe. So Dean and I were talking about his YouTube channel. He makes like handyman videos. And he was like, I got a video coming up where I'm gonna try to like flip this thing I found on the side of the road. And he got this Husqvarna backpack blower on the side of the road, totally for free. He's like, yeah, I cranked it up, it worked. I let it run out of gas, put some fresh gas in it, and it's good to go. He's like, I'm gonna try to sell it to somebody. And I was like, well, dang, man, I'll buy it from you. Cause we got that um, that electric one that we got at the, the garage sale a couple weeks ago. But I, our extension cord had a short in it and I didn't want to get a new extension cord and, and all that stuff. So I'm like, you know what? I'll support your, your flip hustle right, right here. So Dean and Dunn, finding stuff on the side of the road, selling it to me, 100 bucks. That's a deal, Husqvarna, that's a good brand. I also think it's really funny that it took me and Dean together just to remove that shower, but we've got a guy over here building our deck for us. We had the lover delivered a couple days ago and he's over there building the entire deck completely by himself. This guy is an absolute workhorse. I was like, you got people coming to help you? He's like, no, nah, nobody wants to work with me. I'll handle it. So I mean, it's, it's a pretty big deck. It's like 20, 27 by 16. So more power to him. He should be finished in the next couple days or so. This is our plush stuff. We're getting ready for the whatnot plush auction this afternoon. It's going to be at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time, so like very shortly after this video is posted. Uh, but if you guys wanna follow us on whatnot, we're gonna have all the plush this afternoon, and then every Monday night at 8 p.m. we're gonna do different auctions, t-shirts and video games and all sorts of stuff. So definitely check the link down below for, the, for all that. 
But I think that's gonna do it for today's video. This has definitely been one of the longer videos we've made recently. I think we've been sticking to like the 15 to 20 minute mark. And a couple of you guys have commented and said that you missed the longer style videos. In the past, we've made videos that have been 45 minutes longer, longer. So this was not quite that long, I don't think, but definitely one of the longer ones. So if you guys like the longer videos, definitely let us know by dropping a comment on this video. And in terms of the Goodwill bins on a half off day, I just, I yeah, we found a lot of stuff today. We were gonna make a, a good amount of profit on everything we found, but the, the crowds and the overall just hecticness of half off day, I just don't think it's worth it. I'd rather just stick to the regular full price days, pay a little bit more for the same items pretty much, and then not have to deal with all that stuff. So personally, I do think we are done with the Goodwill bins on half price day. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, definitely let us know by hitting that like button down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below as well. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh.